When people hear the word multiplication, especially children, they get overwhelmed, they get anxiety, even to this age when I am working and training adults and we hit math, people, you know, they start shaking. It's one of those topics that people struggle with and it all comes starting all the way back when they were little, when they were in preschool or in uh, first grade and second grade where they've had challenges with math and it's just stuck with them. You know, that fear of numbers is so hard to get over. But magical Dr. Montessori has made it so easy, so wonderful, so doable uh, that it just paves the way for children to have a very strong foundation in math. Now today we are going to be working with a multiplication activity. We're doing multiplication with the short bead stair. Now what makes Montessori math so special is that she's taken this completely abstract topic, you know, things you cannot really touch and feel, it's just numbers floating about, and she's made every topic, every concept a concrete one. Something that children can touch, feel and manipulate. And that's what makes this experience not only fun, enjoyable, but also something that stays with them. The learning stays with them. It isn't easily forgotten. Multiplication above everything that we do um, in the early years is one of those things that children struggle with. And the way, the traditional way of teaching was just you know, making the children repeat it over and over again and memorize it, which just doesn't work. And above all, it's just not fun. It's so boring. And if you're a child who really isn't good with memorizing things, then you're doomed, like me. I struggled with it from a young age and it stayed with me, you know, till I did Montessori training when I was in my 20s. So today we're going to learn with this material, we have a number of short bead stairs and the child is going to use this material to learn uh, the times, uh, how to do multiplication. We're not doing the tables yet. We do have a video about the multiplication board which teaches children about the tables. I'm going to link that video over here and I will also add that in the description box for you to have a look at. That is a bit more advanced. So take a moment and have a look at me presenting this material to my niece Anna. She's never done multiplication before, but she picked it up really well and she, you know, understood the concept really well. She's five and a half years old, so this was a good time for her to do this activity. Enjoy this. Hi, Anna. Hi. Today, we want to do some multiplication. Okay, have you done that before? No. Okay, I'm going to teach you today. It's really fun, all right? Now, I, I have... I know how to do... Um those little one line things. Okay, this is different, okay? Now, let's see, we have so many numbers here. Do you know what numbers they are? One, one. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now, I have a sum card, all right? And two. that's the answer card at the back, okay? So we're going to read, all right? Can you read this number for me? Five times three. Is equal to, yeah. So this first number tells us which beads we're working with. So which beads are we working with? Five. Do you know where they are? The blue one. Right. Okay, can you put it back? Now this number tells us how many times we have to take it out of the box. How many Three. times do we need it? So can you count and place it here three times? Let's count together as you do it, okay? okay. Let's place it. One, two, and three. I want to turn it this way, okay? Now, can you, let's count together how many beads we have all together, okay? One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So can you record your answer in that box? Shall we put this back? Let's read the next one, okay? Eight 
times three. We have to take eight, and we have to, and we have to take three times. Can you show me where eight is? Okay. Can you place it here? Would you like to count and see yes. how many you have all together? Do you need my help? One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Can you write that in the box? Now let's read the next one, okay? Can you read with me? Nine times five. We have to take nine. We have to take nine and take five times. Can you show me where nine is? Okay. Three. One. Two. Okay. Let's put it here. Do you want to arrange it neatly? Then it'll be easier for us to count. Okay. Shall we count together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Can you write that in the box? 6 times 3. You have to take 6 and take 3. Where is 6? Which one is it? Purple. Oh, right, okay. Check. How many times? Shall we keep it here? Okay. Shall we count together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Can you write eighteen in the box? I got an easier way to do it. Okay. Eighteen. Oh, that's nice. Can you put this back? And do you want to read the last one? Six times two. So which one are we taking? Okay. Write that in I the box. I don't know what six plus six is. Oh, you did? Yeah. Wow. Why didn't you tell me? Then we wouldn't have had to do that. Okay. Let's, let's put this back. I just like six plus six. Yeah, that's six times two as well. Let's check our work to see if it's all correct, okay? Can you read? Five times three equals 15. Five? Times three equals 15. Eight times three equals four, 24. Eight times three equals four. F equals four? 44. 24. 24. Nine times five equals twenty-five. Forty-five. Nine. Nine times five equals forty-five. Six times three equals eighteen. Six. Six times three equals eighteen. Six. Uh, six times twelve Two. equals. Six times two equals twelve. Six. Six times two equals twelve. Is it all correct? Yes. Yeah. So your work is correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we have a lot more of these. That's a good way to check. Um, we have a lot more sum cards. Whenever you want to take this and use it again and do this activity again, you can take it from the shelf. Okay? Shall we tidy up? Yeah. Okay. So Anna, let's look at this one, okay? Six times two, two is equal to 
12. Now what do you think if we turn this around and we made it 2 times 6? Would it be the same? No. Let's try, okay? So let's say we have to take 2, but we are going to take it 6 times. Can you do that? Okay. Let's try. Okay, can you arrange them so it's easy for us to count? Oopsie, they're rolling away. Okay, let's count, okay? Can you count with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Was it the same? No. What's this one? 12. Right. Yes. So it's the same, right? Mm -hmm. So if we flip the numbers, the answer comes the same as well. Yeah, because... Two, mm -hmm. two, and two. Right. Shall we put it back? Okay. Did you enjoy that? Isn't it interesting to see how quickly she, you know, caught on to the concept and understood, you know, these are the beads I have to take out. These are how many times I have to take it out. And when she touches it and feels it and she's manipulating these objects, the concept makes sense to her. It's not just us forcing her to memorize something which she has no clue about. This is something that will stay within her. It will give her the confidence to tackle something challenging and do it with, you know, happiness, with surety and uh, in time she will also build up speed. Now this material is so easy to make. It's very easy to access beads, um, you know, and you can string them on a, a stick or even wire. And the children can do this on their own. The sum cards, I will show, show you uh, the sum cards over here on your screen so you can have a look. We have sum card one, which is three sums on a five by five grid. And we have a red box for the children to put their answer. The next one, which is some card two, very similar, except this time there's no red box. And finally, some card three is five sums in the five by five grid, no red box. Now I know a lot of you must be thinking, why just three sums? Why would we start a child off with three sums? They can do as many sum cards as they want. But the minute they look at this big worksheet that I have to do, they already feel tired and they're just like, I don't want to do this. They push it away. But when they see this tiny little piece of paper, just three sums, I've seen children sit down and they can do five or six at a stretch because it doesn't seem overwhelming to them. So trust the process. Once they get through and they've you know, understood how to put it in that red box, we make it a little bit difficult. We take away the red box. When we see they're building up speed, then we give them a card that has five sums because we know that they can handle it. So you observe your child, you see where they're at, and you offer them what they need at that time. Now, every sum card also has a control card. That is our control of error. That's how the child will check their work. We've talked about the control of error before. I'm going to link it right up here. I will also add it into the description below so you can watch that video and realize why the control of error is so very, very important and such a great, great, you know, uh, thing that Dr. M Maria Montessori has offered us in this philosophy. When she's able to check her work eventually on her own, when I'm not working with her, she will see where her mistake lies. She'll erase it and she'll fix it. I don't have to draw these big fat X's on her paper, nor do I have to erase her hard work. She'll be able to take that into her own hands. She has the independence to roll from there. So I hope you've really enjoyed this. I hope you will try it out at home. Uh, do let us know how it works for you. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a single one of our videos. And I look forward to seeing you again. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.